Well, I mean, with, like, Vampire Weekend, it's like, I, I like their stuff, you know, uh, prior to them coming here. I mean, obviously, I didn't, I had to invite them here, but then, like, the thing that, like, made me understand that they were going to be massive was when they played the pizza parlor that, that night. Like, I mean, nobody in the world knew who they were. There, there was nobody at that show that had any idea who Vampire Weekend was, and, I mean, there were probably, like, 40 people there. I mean, there were some grandmas and grandpas and some little kids and, you know, just the regulars that come to all of our shows, and I've never seen a crowd behave the way they behaved. I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. I mean, they didn't have a very long set because they'd only... You know, you know, they only had like twelve songs or something like that, and uh, like people freaked out, just freaked out. Like, I mean, they got done with their set, and like it was like a spontaneous standing ovation. People were going crazy. Like, the owner of the pizza place was like, "You gotta, even if they play the same songs, you go. Do they have any more songs? Like, ask them if they can play more. You know, I'll give them some pizzas or whatever." And so, you know, I mean, they played a couple. They played like three songs a second time for like a couple taco pizzas, you know, because like people just didn't want them to stop. You know, they were they were signing everybody's t shirt. I've never seen it. I mean it just doesn't happen with any of our shows. Like they were signing T shirts, they were selling tons of stuff. It was incredible. And um like I mean I had goosebumps that night. I was just like, I mean, if if people react the same way I mean, here they were playing to a completely impartial, like blank slate of an audience that has no idea who they are. I've never heard them before. And they reacted like that. That's a pretty good sign.